and welcome to uh Hello and welcome to today's PBS segment that is not sponsored by PBS whatsoever. What is it called? Okay. What I'm presenting to you this evening is whose portfolio? Oh, okay. Is Lyra's portfolio. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got it. Okay. Yes. This is her renowned artwork that Sally, unfortunately, did not get her a job. And there is a meow in the background. But that's for next week's episode of Cats in the Wild. Yes, as I have to bring our recording device closer to me because it cannot pick up my sounds because our sound department is off for a while. So let us begin with the portfolio. Oh, this is so heavy actually. Um, how much work does she have? What the heck? In this very fancy big heavy book that we have here today is there is artwork. Wow, wow. Um, the word to describe it, editorial, fancy, underappreciated, I suppose. These big books. Once upon a time, there was. Please stop eating the plant! Yes, I'm sorry. I can't play right now. I'm busy doing a show. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful, beautiful image and it continued until the next page there is probably oh no <laughs> our program, our story. So, once upon a time, there was a beautiful image with a whole bunch of glare. And then, ah, and then there was another beautiful image with a whole bunch of glare. I should probably tell our camera crew to move to another direction. Third time is the charm. <sighs> this series, she goes through her personal life of rejection because being rejected is cool. It's what the cool kids do. No. This is another cool image. This is, this is a lot. This is heavy. Let's, let's just skip to the good part. And this is when she got to um, photograph Sir Tyler the Creator. Yes, that is a whole other experience in itself. And she had her first published article from that movement. Yes, here is an, a stunning image of her, one of her best friends as Amy Winehouse. Why do I sound like an old woman? <laughs> uh huh. Mm hmm. 
I have just received information that she has an online portfolio which could have avoided all of this. So, but side note, for outside of my what my boss is trying to tell me to say on screen, it's not that great. And you know, they're kind of like mediocre. So like maybe that's why she didn't get a job. I I don't know. But yet, people keep telling her that her stuff is beautiful. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't, I don't get it. Since I'm better off talking not in front of a camera. So, this is my website. This is everything that the presenter and the special couldn't do. So, I am here to fill in for her job. Because I don't have a job. So this is the only job I have, okay. Because when I need a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job! Yes, very pretty, very pretty. The key portion of my portfolio is my photography. It's divided into editorial, concerts, and personnel. I don't know why my accent keeps going all over the place. <laughs> More proof as to I guess why I don't have a job I'm freaking weird look if you can guess the names of these without actually clicking clicking <laughs> am I ghetto no <laughs> um hiding from all my my problems sleeping during class just sleeping during class while my boyfriend drinks his problems away and that's how we broke up that's actually not how we broke up um, that's another story. Prince, because I actually have to be serious about that because Prince rocks. I don't know what else to tell you. This is a self-portrait of me smoking. Do I actually smoke? No, because I've gotten 10 million emails. Wait, actually, who emails anymore? No, I got 10 million text messages saying, oh my gosh, do you smoke now? Are you cool? No. I don't smoke. This is all Photoshop. My skills are amazing. I look cool. Am I really? I'm not cool though. I'm okay. Some people might find me cool and that's <laughs> not gonna stop them. <laughs> um, whoosh. <laughs> this is literally called whoosh. These are cool Polaroids. Yeah, alright. So we're gonna go back into photography. I will fix this. Also, this is Wix. So that's why it's also cringy. Wix what? Where? No one uses Wix. I don't know. I only use this because I need to afford rent. Concerts. As you can see, I have photographed famous people. Here's a picture of where I almost got trampled. A picture where I was supposed to be up close to Tyler, the creator, and last minute the publicist people were like, no, people are throwing shoes at the stage, so it might be dangerous. Little did they know Corona would be around the corner and again, where I was almost being trampled, where I actually forgot my glasses that day, so that's pretty neat. So my camera did all the work. I had the time of my life here. I'm not even going to make a crack at that. Here are my films that, again, are kind of cringy, to be honest. Um, but also, that leads me to my thesis, which... Oh, about me wow this is the only decent picture of me it's also to show that I am powerful hence the angle so I can actually be a manager <laughs> I'm talking to Conan right now because I really want the job as a manager and I'm so sorry if you see this or you see my playlist on my Spotify sorry but I really want a job at Conan because I applied to that and I feel very nervous because that will be my huge job but yeah if you're listening hi this is awkward uh, my resume apparently to my mentors based on my resume I am hireable very hireable <sighs> okay, okay. I'm not good. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. And contact me. So if anyone actually wants to hire me, this page is here. Okay, and that has been my portfolio. I graduated college. I have a degree. It really does feel weird that I have a degree because it came damaged in the mail 
but also, I mean, it, maybe it's a metaphor. I became as damaged after college as my degree. I'm damaged as my de- as damaged as my degree. I don't know. Vogue hit me up. This is so professional. <laughs>